All right, let's take some measurements on this side of the plane for the next stringer. stringer. I'm going to go from the front to the back. About like so. what I'm going to do is instead of, I'm just going to cut it long. So as you can see, I'm, I'm touching here and that's actually going to get longer as I cope that out. And I've got it clamped in each saddle just about so it fits into the saddles nicely. And then up front here, what I did on the other side is I I cut it probably to that weldment right on this side of my fingernail. So I think I'm just going to cut it a little bit long because this part doesn't get at epoxied in until you do the door frames on the fuselage. So it doesn't really matter and I can epoxy all those points in and rivet them prior to doing so. So I'm going to cut this right through the A I think on USA there. cope start coping that end and then I'll get every every other point I've got a I've got to drill these through here with a number 30 in each saddle um, and then high saw them in just like I did on the other side you can see the, the rivet in there that one over there that one up front and that one over yonder so and then you can see that the front is sticking out up front so that's what that's going to be carbon copy on this side, only I'm going to do a better job, so let me get into that. this off, put that baby in there, and just get a look at it all the way around. Looks like it sits in there pretty good to me, better than the other one. So I think what I could do now is drill that baby out for my safety wire. And I need a number 30 and probably a center punch because the drill is going to want to wander. It's usually in the last drawer I look in. Number 30s are down here, I do know that. Of course, I don't want a long one. That's probably all I have. need to get some shorties. Any specifications for that? Nope. Just says to drill a hole. I'll probably try to keep it uh, a little over. Well, let me look at the other one. It's about a half inch back from the front. So I'll try to do the same. Very light pressure on those. Just let the bit do its work. Otherwise you distort them quite a bit when you push down on them. So we'll do a little deburring because we love deburring right after we drill. Yeah, 
if this will fit in there. Just barely. Okay. Takes the burrs off so that we don't cut our safety wire or our fingers. Not so much our fingers, but probably the safety wire. Anything we want to stick through the hole, really. Deburr this end a little bit, or it's going to rub up against the fuselage. And I think while I'm in there, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of Scotch-Brite, because I'm going to try to do all of these, get these two stringers on this evening. You can see how well that Scotch-Brite scuffs that aluminum up. So I'm not going to clean it with the denatured alcohol until I get to that point. In fact, let's go put it back on the plane, clamp it in place, and we'll drill for our rivets. Okay, we're still long here, which is good, because we weren't on the other side. I think that one's gonna stay without me clamping it. I could throw a clamp in here, probably. I don't really wanna distort it too much. Maybe I can go like that. All right, now I'm gonna get my number 30, Tap Magic cutting oil, and get my punch. A drill, make sure I can get in all the holes. If I can get in there with the drill, I can probably get in there with the riveter. Okay, we just drilled this one out. I got the punch in there, so I'm gonna slide a rivet in temporarily to keep things in place because the clamps wanna move a little tiny bit. There we go. That'll help keep things in place. And then we'll continue drilling. I'll try to put you in a place where you can see. Alrighty. We put our fourth rivet in. Now that I've got those rivets in there, clamp it down a little bit better. So I don't know if I can clamp it any better. And I'll drill up from the bottom, which I might actually put a pair of safety glasses on for. Things tend to fall down. And while I'm over here, I'll pick up four more rivets. The rivet store. Maybe we'll bring in our doctor's chair. Pretty good angle. I think I put that punch in a pocket. Moving on down the line. Come with me. Two. I'm gonna find the rivet that fell out behind me. Located back in, that one in. It's not gonna stay in. Maybe we can use the clamp to keep them both in there. Yep, moving on down the line. This will be more fun because you're getting lower. And the last one down here, if you can see it. All right.
looks like it touched the head of that one, but I don't know if it's enough to bother it. Okay, now that those are drilled, that's there. I'm gonna have to scuff them. So let's see if you can see this or not. I think what I'm gonna do is so right in here where this member comes down, I think I'm gonna angle that just a little tiny bit and I'm gonna do the same thing on this bottom so that the point of that can go inside of there. All right, like we did before, I'm just gonna put some rivets in. Okay, this piece I bring up over the top, bring it right back down in, so it sits on the sits on the framing member like so, and it looks still a little bit higher than the other side. But at this point, can't take it off without drilling out my rivets. So it's going to stay put, and I'm going to hit it with the safety wire and then epoxy. So the wire's going through the holes and around the back again. Now that I've used these pliers once, I'm a expert. So open them up. Put the two wires inside. Clamp and lock this piece down. Give it a pull. And it feels tight to me. The wire's up tight to the back, so I'm going to stop twisting. Squeeze and release. And maybe bend that piece in just a little bit so I don't hit my fingers on that later on. And now we'll put some epoxy on there. Try to make a relatively pretty fillet, but stuff is not the easiest to work with. With a popsicle stick, anyway. Okay, I'll let that sit in there a little bit. And again, maybe I'll show you in a minute. All right, that's the three grams and three grams. This is the two grams and two grams. You can see I still had a lot left over. It could go with just one gram and one gram. It's very simple. I guess anytime I mix some up, I just need to reduce it by 50%. I'm going to try to clean this fillet up a little bit.
All right, guys, thanks for coming back and watching today's episode. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell for notifications when future videos like this come out. In the next episode, I'm going to continue what I'm doing, and I'm going to put that third stringer underneath the bottom of the fuselage. So it'll be a lot like today, but I'll be laying on my back a lot, which I don't mind doing unless I'm drilling and using cutting oil above my head. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you like what you saw, and uh, I appreciate you guys coming back and watching the channel. So I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Or maybe you look forward to seeing me on the next video. Catch you guys later.